I've just come out of, of a walk. We've been to, we've went to um, Seven Beach Decay because the weather is not that great. Um, I'll show you how bad the weather is. As you can see, it's raining. Although we've been lucky because it was really pouring down earlier. So, um, how's Storm getting on? He's he's doing really good. Um, we've had to go back to our recall stuff because we was like really behind after he had his knackers done and stuff like that. Um, what did I have got here? Nope, that's not it. Right, we we done some um, test um, like like trials and testings. One thing for sure. This here spot. Oh, there it is. Uh, trials and testers because Storm likes to um, be. He's quite playful with other dogs. And unfortunately, it sounds quite aggressive, but it's not aggressive. Um, so I was getting a bit anxious taking him out. So um, my my um, behaviorist um, guy um, said maybe put a muzzle on him for temporary until I get um, you know start being a bit more confident about my dogs. I'm excuse my hair because it's like we've just been got a bit wind swept, and we bought this. Well, <laughs> Storm kept getting out of it, so it was a bloody waste of time with that. I probably you probably see the videos um, of him um, with it on and then then not off. So yeah, so complete waste of time. Although Storm's not aggressive, um, like I said, he, he is he is just very very boisterous, and he doesn't know that he doesn't understand the the time to stop with other dogs. Um, we got them this, which is, it is amazing, and I will admit, it stops the pulling straight away, so it eases, it helps me because of my back, um, but it doesn't, um, fix the pull, the pulling, okay, so if you took this off, he was, he would still pull, so it rectifies it, but all it does is cover it, so it's great like so for a do going doing days off I'm, i mean we're keeping him keeping it i'm i'm keeping it on him um at all times when we're out and about just so i can get you know just you know he gets a bit out of control and i can i can put that control with him um but it's something i don't want to keep on him i don't know about you guys but you know it seems quite restricting and it doesn't don't think because of the um, storm as a staff anyway it doesn't do him justice either so but he it does work but yeah it's not something i would want to do on the long term um for him so he's on the long leads i've got two long leads i've got a blue one which i take on the field and then i got a green one which i'll use like on the seawall and all that lot which you'll see in the videos after after this um he's doing he he, he is coming on he is coming on it's just it's just a, taking it's it's just taking its time um you gotta have a lot of patience <laughs> uh so uh yeah, it's challenging still. Um, we have some, we've had some issues, but you've probably seen on my Instagram what I, you know, the, the you know, the, the bits that I've said about um, other owners, and obviously I, I can appreciate that because I, I would be panicking if some, you know, a dog came running, barging up on me. You know, I, I completely get it. So that's why he's back on the long lead now. So the pros and cons of that having a staff. Okay, well, the, I'll go for the cons first. Okay, um, you've got you know you. I'm starting from scratch, so although I've had dogs in the past, I didn't really put time and effort into them, and they weren't. They were probably so easy compared to um, Storm. So he's very very strong minded. He's very very bright, and he's very very clever. Um, You've got to be so consistent with him. Um, he, you know, the biting and the nipping in the beginning. Oh my God, that was her. That was a nightmare. 
um really painful we didn't know it, we didn't think it was going to end but it did <laughs> it did um he he took to because we we got a, we bought a pen and then we bought a like a cage thing and i kept the cage um cage thing or what do they call it yeah i think it's okay i'll put it on i put um i put it in the pen and left it open um we, me and darren stayed downstairs for about a week you know took it in turns just to stay by a while you know just to get him used to it and then so i didn't get him out of the pen. and i just sort of like put my hand so he could smell me and he knew i was there and that and then gradually we moved upstairs and he's been absolutely fine no problems whatsoever and um, we've just took the pen away this um this week yeah this week and yeah, because we for a couple of weeks we we left them out of the pen on the night time. We took the cage away as well and just left just left the pen in the in the thing. And he was he was fine. Me and Darren both work. He was good as gold. Uh, we you know we've had a few like chewing things. Um, that's another thing I would suggest if you got um, a staff or like a oh any dog I suppose. Um, plenty of chew toys. Plenty of chew stuff because he's constantly wanting to chew and chomp and touch wood he hasn't really um wrecked anything as such maybe a few like pillowcases and stuff like that but nothing too towards it could have been worse couldn't it, at the end of the day so we're really really lucky there um is um going to the toilet as well um it took a bit it took a, it took a while but that's an as expected i think that's with any pups anyway but he was he was brilliant you know he you know he's i was i i'm worrying of the next stage so i was going oh he's not barking we oh, started to find his voice <laughs> um and he started barking and you know he, he'll let you know that he wants to go out so yeah we've we've had the odd occasional accidents um but apart from that it, he's been brilliant um he needs his walks um most definitely we can be a bit guilty on um not taking him out every day um and we paid the consequences of it for not doing that so he you know we could get away with not having you know only you know when they're in the field or like i said i'll just let them run free on the long lead um for like a day or so if he's had a good good run um but after that you he really needs to go out and he loves it so um, I'm doing more lead training now, so I'm going to go back into it. Unfortunately, because of my back, sometimes that um, I can have relapses and that kind of sets it back a bit. So where he's so strong, I can't, you know, not always control him, hence why I got this. Um, because of, and it affects my back. So, yeah, so that that could be a bit of a, of a, of a bugger from me and Storm. And then I feel bad. So Darren takes in um takes him takes him out but sometimes he don't get back till late and la 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 you know you by the time you get home and and then it just like oh well i'll take him out tomorrow so we kind of we do yeah we do make excuses so <laughs> yeah one of those yeah scenarios um when he was a pup he used to get car sickness um but since he's got so he's starting to get so used to the car now and he loves that he loves he loves it in the car um and we go on to we do do long trips as you are aware when you see um see um the thing um also yeah um i bought pet com corrector um and it has worked it stops the jumping up and it stops the barking at the window, especially when cats go past and stuff or people knocking on the door. It has stopped, but it does it, it comes with um, another thing which means that when I'm like trying to, you know, when I go to grab my cup of tea from the side and stuff like that, Storm E gets jumpy. So it's worked in one sense, but he's lost a little bit of trust in me in another. So, yeah, it. It works, but you get a repercussion in somewhere else. 
So I've got to find another strategy of a way of um, getting them to stop. Although that ah, ah, ah thing has worked on a lot of things. Um, he was doing brilliantly out here. I, I was getting him to wait because we've been learning the wait. So I was getting him to wait and then praise him when he waits. So he was waiting, but there was no other distractions. <laughs> there was no one else around. So, yeah, it's still trial and error. The goods of having a dog, of a staff... He is so loving. He just wants to be close to you. He'll love you to bits. And it's so nice, you know, in the morning he'll 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 go by the gate, he'll be wagging his tail and he's so pleased to see you and it's like he's you've you've left him for ages and and I love it when he does that. Oh like you know, where the bloody hell have you been? Um He's a pleasure to have around. He makes a mess of my my um house, um. But at the same time, just watching him on the night time, he just oh, I just love him. I love him to bits. I couldn't be without him. So although we've got like these struggles, and I go ah, like I can't cope like at times, I also just really love love him, um, love it, and I'm looking. I oh. Yeah, we, we're gonna hopefully we're gonna do some more road trips um in um when it, the weather is nice and when me darren gets some time together you know um but yeah i love taking him out i love him being around me um he's really good you know we took him to weymouth well where else did we go went to weymouth a few times because i took our mum there as well with uh, Maisie, Maisie's a, she's a little gem, they're like, they love each other, but he's a bugger when, when he's off the lead with her, he wants to, you know, he wants to play, he gets too um, boisterous again. So, I kind of rambled there, didn't I? Because <laughs> it went from, so this is where we're, I mean, suppose this is where we're at with Storm at the moment, so this is Storm's blog here, so I'm going to change it, so my blog and Storm's blog. So three things I want to work on Storm. His recall. Um, off lead. And with other dogs, like other distractions. That's what I need to fit. Um, that's, so that's two, you know. Um, the other one is, is working on his lead pulling. Okay, because so I want to stop. St I want to. I want to eventually get rid of this. I don't want to be using this if I can help it. So that's the thing I'm going to be. You know, we're going to be working on. So I think that's the three things, really. How he is with other dogs, and it's not where he's nasty. It's just where he's just um, a nose, and he just doesn't know his manners. So which is not fair on other owners and other dogs when we're out and about. Um, so if I can get him to stay by my side, um, you know, I'll, that's probably going to come to the next. Let's just get the recall <laughs> sorted out and him listening to um, us. And that would be, um, so that would be the, that's the, that's where we're at. Um, and I think we've been at this stage for quite some time. But in all honesty and in all fairness to Storm, was that we were we were practicing that then he had his knackers done and then one thing or another i had a bit of a relapse with my back so i was unable to take him out as much and then i was getting a bit of anxiousness for taking him out and stuff so that was me personally and he's probably picking that up as well because he he knows don't they know don't they so i think from you know i said from last week we're I'm gonna do more with him which we have been doing even if it's just taking him around the block which we have been doing um, although he does need to be off the lead more and socializing more so that would be this is our main goals for the next um, three or four months and see how we get on and we'll go to the next stage <laughs> of bringing that storm <laughs> So, uh, yeah, his, his birthday son coming up soon. I'm not, I can't remember his birthday. I wonder if he'll hear from his mum and dad. Because <laughs> they do, like, keep an eye on him. Uh, yeah, so I think that's all That's all it is. I'm probably going to 
Um, so I'll post that and then I'll um, what I'll do is I'm going to do some editing with this with this and work it work it so and see what we see yeah and then I'll show you our little walk today as well okay take care and have a good day